happens when abnormal cells divide without control and form lumps in different parts of the body. The lumps, which are known as tumours, can spread through the bloodstream and lymphatic systems. Several reasons account for the rise of cancer incidence in Singapore. The number has been synonymous with the well-developed economies and has led people to change their lifestyle and eating habits. Excessive alcohol consumption, obesity, tobacco and fatty food are the leading causes of many cancers. The situation of cancer patients today is now more optimistic as cancer treatments are more effective. One of the conventional ways of treating cancer is through surgery. The affected section of the tissue is removed. As cancer can also spread to the lymph glands, nearby lymph glands are removed as well. With advancement in medicine, Chemotherapy has remained one of the most effective treatments. Anti-cancer drugs are used to kill cancer cells and stop them from spreading and reproducing themselves. The drug, which can be given orally or through injections, enters the bloodstream and travels throughout the body. They are given in many cycles, each consisting of a treatment period followed by a rest period. Chemotherapy can be combined with other types of treatment. In radiation therapy, high-energy rays are used to kill cancer cells and stop them from growing further. This form of treatment minimizes damage on normal cells. Hormones have been responsible for contributing to the growth of cancer cells in breast and prostate cancer. Hence, hormone therapy may consist of removing these organs or using drugs to stop these hormones from producing. Immunotherapy is probably the only natural treatment for cancer. It uses the body's own defences to strengthen the immune system and to destroy cancer cells. Many Singaporeans do not know that they have cancer until it becomes too late the chances of cure are significantly higher if they were diagnosed early. Hence, early screening is important. Anyone with the following symptoms should pay more attention. A sore which refuses to heal, a change in a mole or wart, change in bowel habits, unusual bleeding or discharge, a lump or thickening in the breast, persistent hoarseness of voice or cough, Persistent indigestion or difficulty in swallowing Hearing impairment with noise in the same ear These signs do not always mean that you have cancer But if they do persist, see a doctor immediately Thanks for watching Till then, bye-bye